So I'm sure you've gone out to eat at a nice restaurant before. I'm sure that you've done fun things in your life. And I'm sure that you've been in an English conversation where someone has said, how did it go? Or how was it? And you didn't know how to answer them. Well, in this English lesson, I will help you uh, learn 14 different ways to respond to someone if they ask you how something went or how much you enjoyed it. Hi, Bob the Canadian here. Welcome to this English lesson. If this is your first time here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below. And if this video helps you learn a little bit of English, please give me a thumbs up. So the first phrase we're going to look at is, it was awesome. The best example I can give for this is after you have gone to a music concert. Um, if someone was to ask you how was the concert, a, a great answer is to say it was awesome. You can also emphasize it a little bit more by saying it was so awesome. After you say it was awesome or it was so awesome, you can then describe some of the details. Like it was so awesome, the lead singer did an amazing job. It was awesome. The second phrase we're going to talk about is it was exhilarating. This is a little bit of a tricky word to pronounce. Exhilarating. The best example I can give of this is if you go for a ride on a roller coaster and if someone was to say, how was the ride? The best answer you can give is it was exhilarating. Hopefully it was exhilarating. Hopefully it wasn't terrifying. I like roller coasters. If I went on a roller coaster and I enjoyed it, I would say it was exhilarating. I'm pretty sure if my sister went on a roller coaster, she might say it was terrifying. The third phrase we're going to look at is, it was amazing. Maybe you just went to see a baseball game or a football game and someone asks you, how was the game? Uh, if you really enjoyed it, and if your team won, you would probably say, it was amazing. Uh, when you say something is amazing, it's way higher than it was good. <laughs> it's definitely something that you enjoyed a lot. So if you have just gone and seen a really good game, you might answer the question with, it was amazing. The fourth phrase we're going to look at is, it was delicious. So you're probably already guessing we are going to talk about food. Maybe you went to a really, really nice restaurant that serves the best pizza in the whole city and you eat the pizza and afterwards someone says to you, how was the pizza? You could respond by saying it was delicious. Um, when something is delicious, it is very tasty. It is very yummy. Um, actually, most pizza that I eat, after I eat it, I say that it was delicious. Um, I, I'll pretty much eat any kind of pizza. The fifth phrase we're going to look at is, it was really nice. Maybe you went to a really fancy restaurant. Maybe you went to a really expensive restaurant and someone says to you, how was the restaurant? You could respond by saying, it was really nice. When we put the word really in front of nice, it means that it was more than just a good experience. The restaurant was more than just nice. It was really nice. It probably had tablecloths and really, really nice servers. Uh, and I'm sure all of the food was delicious as well. So the sixth phrase we're going to look at is, it was a blast. Um, maybe you have gone to a party, maybe you went to a birthday party for a friend, and someone a few days later asks you, how was the party? You could respond by saying, it was a blast. If you say something is a blast, it means that you had a lot of fun. Maybe at the party, the food was really good, you had a lot of really good conversations with people and a great way to describe it would be to say, it was a blast. The seventh phrase we're going to look at is, it was wonderful. Uh, sometimes I go on a little vacation. Uh, Jen and I will go away for the weekend um, without the kids just to have what we would call a getaway. And when I get back, someone might ask me, how was your uh, vacation? And I usually respond by saying, it was wonderful. And I do emphasize the word wonderful that way. I would say it was wonderful. We had so much fun. 
We went for long walks. We had a really nice dinner in a restaurant. It was wonderful. So the seventh phrase we're going to talk about is, it was cool or it was so cool. Maybe you went to a store and you tried out the latest phone, a brand new iPhone 11 or maybe a Pixel 3. Uh, and someone says to you, how was the phone that you tried out? You could say it was cool or you could say it was so cool. When we put the word so in the phrase, it was so cool, it, it emphasizes even more how cool or how neat it was. So when you're describing something like a new phone that you tried out, you could say it was so cool. The ninth phrase we're going to look at is, it was beyond compare. <laughs> Maybe you have gone and had one of the best cups of coffee in the best coffee shop in your city. And someone says to you, how was the coffee? Um, if it was really good, if it was the best coffee that you have ever had in your life, you would describe it by saying, it was beyond compare. What that means is that it was so good that it's not even worth comparing it to all the other coffee that you have had in your life. So if something is so good that you don't even need to compare it, you would say it was beyond compare. The tenth phrase we're going to look at is it was the best. Maybe you have gone to visit a friend that you have not seen in years. When you return from visiting that friend, uh, someone might ask you, how was your visit? And you could respond by saying it was the best. That means that you had a really good time. It means that visiting with your friend was really worthwhile, uh, that you had great conversations. So how was your visit with your friend? It was the best. So the 11th phrase we're going to look at is, it went very well. Maybe you had to go up and talk in front of people. Maybe you were at a wedding or you were at a workshop where you needed to go up front and you needed to give a speech in front of other people. Later, someone might ask you, how did your speech go? And you could respond by saying, it went very well. I hope if you give speeches that they always go very well, especially if you are giving speeches in English. The 12th phrase we're going to look at is, it was moving. Maybe you've just read a really good book or you went and saw a really good movie that caused you to feel strong emotions while you were watching it. We would describe that as, um, as very moving. So if someone said, how was the book that you read? You could respond by saying, it was moving. Uh, and what that means again, is that it caused you to feel a lot of emotions. Maybe it made you happy, maybe it made you sad, maybe it was a love story. The 13th phrase we're going to look at is, it was a beautiful day. We usually use this phrase when we are talking about a wedding. Maybe you went to the wedding of a cousin, maybe one of your own children got married, and someone asks you, how was the day? You would respond by saying, it was a beautiful day. Everything went perfectly. So again, this phrase is almost always used to talk about a wedding. So how was the wedding? It was a beautiful day. The bride was beautiful. The groom looked so handsome. It was a beautiful day. The 14th phrase we're going to look at is, it was fantastic. Maybe you just watched a really good YouTube video and you thought it was really well done. If someone was to ask you, how was that YouTube video that you just watched? You could reply and say, it was fantastic. Well, hey, that was 14 different ways to respond to someone if they ask you how something went or how something was. I hope that you were able to learn just a little bit more English in this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below. I'm Bob the Canadian. You have just learned a little bit of English with Bob the Canadian. And before you go, why don't you stick around and watch another video?